What is the best California olive oil for your blood pressure? In this video, I'm gonna tell you. Here's the problem. If you have high blood pressure, you need to do a number of things. You're gonna to need to change your lifestyle, maybe reduce stress, exercise, and change your diet. Olive oil is one of these things that can significantly lower your blood pressure. Many studies have been done where people that eat healthier, eat more vegetables, and use olive oil have significantly lower blood pressure, and that is important because high blood pressure is a risk factor for cardiovascular disease, meaning strokes and heart attacks. So the problem is we're trying to solve something with our diet, and this is very important. So I'm just gonna jump to the chase, but then the important thing is, and you should really watch the rest of the videos, that you can understand why this is the best one, in my humble opinion. There have been numerous awards that this olive oil has won. This is the California Olive Ranch. It's They have different ones, but this is the 100% California one. The reason why this one is so good, and by the way, this is not sponsored. They didn't pay me anything to do this. I'm just letting you know this uh, to spread the word. You want an olive oil that has a lot of polyphenols in it, and polyphenols are the things that help reduce inflammation. That's the mechanism by which olive oil will actually help high blood pressure because if it can reduce inflammation in the body, then the arteries become more pliable. In fact, there have been studies that two tablespoons at nighttime before you go to bed within three weeks can reduce most people's blood pressure medication by 50%. So if you're taking 50% less blood pressure medication because you're taking olive oil, that's just a win-win. Now, I'm gonna compare some olive oils to this one to give you an idea. And just to let you know, I didn't mention this in the beginning, uh, but it's probably important, is the first rule of the olive oil club is that we do not say the word E-V-O-O. -O. My name is not Rachel, so when I say olive oil, I'm actually talking about extra virgin olive oil. The reason why this olive oil is so good is because it's local to me. So I live in California, this company is in California. The closer you can come to from olive to consumer, the better off you're gonna be. The fresher the olive oil is gonna be. Therefore, the more polyphenols the olive oil will have. If you contrast this to an olive oil like this, and this would be more of a cooking uh, type of olive oil, this, this Bertoli, the olives come from here. Argentina, Chile, Greece, Italy, Morocco, Peru, Portugal. That's a lot of different olives that you have to get and import before you have to make the olive oil. So there's got to be a lot of processing to occur to make that olive oil over there. This is a lot fresher. The fresher the olive oil, the better off and healthier the olive oil will be they actually have a harvest date. So they tell you on the back when the oil and the olives were harvested. And that's important because the closer to that date you can buy the olive oil, the healthier that it's gonna be for your cardiovascular system. The next reason why this is so good is because the olives only come from California. There's not multiple olives from different sources. When you get an olive oil, that has more than one source of location, you have to understand it's gonna have less polyphenols. The last reason why this is so good is because you can see it comes in a very dark container. The three enemies of olive oil are heat, light, and air. And so when you, again, when you look at a, a cooking olive oil, this comes in a very clear plastic. Now, why would they do this? Why would they mix oils, process the oils, and put it in a clear bottle uh, when this is extremely healthy. Because this is not designed for health, this is designed for cooking. This is designed for finishing the meal. You don't really wanna cook with this. What you wanna do is you want to, after the cooking is done, place this on top of the food so that it can help bring out the flavors and add to the flavoring of the food. So how do you know this is the best olive oil and is this the best olive oil for you? The only way to know if an olive oil really works for you is to taste the olive oil. And many people don't know how to taste the olive oil, so I'm gonna show you how. What you need is a little shot glass here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pour about a tablespoon of olive oil 
into this glass, into the shot glass. And if you're doing shots with anything other than this, it's probably, it's probably fun, but not good for you. <laughs> so the way to taste olive oil is two things. You want to use all the sensory organs that you have. You want to use the smell and the taste. So the first thing is to taste all, to smell olive oil. You put your hand on top of the shot glass and just swirl it around. And what that's going to do, it's going to help let the smell concentrate in that shot glass. And then what you do is bring it up to your nose and smell it. And a normal, fresh, really high polyphenol olive oil is going to, is going to smell actually very good. It's going to smell very fruity. It's going to smell like very strong olives. Now how you taste olive oil is what you're going to do is you're going to coat your tongue with the olive oil. And then what will happen is you will slurp the olive oil. And in California, this is considered rude. You don't do this in a, in a restaurant unless it's a place where you're doing olive oil testing or it's, it's socially acceptable. Um, I've heard in other countries they call this stripping when you suck the air into the uh, mouth. Uh, in California, we have a different meaning to stripping, so don't confuse the two. But what you'll do is you'll put it into your tongue, put it on top of your tongue, and then slurp it so that the oil will coat all the sensory organs of the tongue and the taste buds. And then, as it goes to the back of the mouth, you should feel a peppery type of uh, feeling as as an aftertaste. So it looks like this. That's really good. So it's a very smooth, um, very flavorful, strong flavor. And actually now I'm just starting to get the peppery uh, feeling in the back of my throat and it really tastes good. So the fresher that you can get your olive oil, the better, the more local you can get the olive oil, the better. If you live in California, there's many different good olive oils, but this one in particular has won a lot of awards. So look into this, give it a try and see if you like it and make sure that you at least have about two tablespoons per day because that will help you with your blood pressure, preventing strokes and heart attacks.